Easter, we're trying to figure out what exactly is it. From the Christian perspective and the ideology and the dogma, it's about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It starts off with the Good Friday, but I don't know why they call it Good Friday, because it was a bad day. It was a bad Friday, according to the text, because what it's saying, according to the biblical text and the canonized text, is saying that the firstborn of every, um, of every Egyptian family was slain and killed and murdered. Now, I have a problem calling that a good day. I really do. If you are a human being and you are about humanity, then that would be a bad day. If you really truly are about humanity and about love, unconditional love, it would be a bad, bad, bad day when you kill the firstborn of every single family that exists within an entire town. So that starts off the weekend. The first day is the Friday night. It's slaughter night. We're going to go out here and slay some babies. You just slay some babies. You know, no big deal. Just kill the babies. And then you call it a good day. See how they use the word? See how they flip the words on you? They take something dark and evil and sadistic and murderous, and they turn it into, oh, it's a good day. It's Good Friday. With QuickBooks Solopreneur, you'll gain confidence in your books. And it's on sale. Think about that for a minute. For the people who had unfortunate situation where their, their kids were shut down in the schools when these schools showed up, did they rename that day Good Day? Good Tuesday or Good Wednesday? Did they do that? The shooters claimed they had a reason, just like the Pharaoh claimed he had a reason. So why didn't they name that a good day? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> they didn't do it because they know it's dark and it's evil and it's not good. That's why they didn't do it. So why in the world are you naming it Good Friday when it's really a bad Friday? And it's a celebration. No, it's not a celebration. Kids were killed. Innocent kids were slaughtered according to that text. Just something to think about, something to ponder. Ain't he good all the time? So let's take a look at this. Let's explore Good Friday a little bit more. So people are all enthralled over God and Jesus and, oh my goodness, I, you know, the love is so strong. I can feel the love in my bones and it's, it's you know, it's incredible and it's changing my life and everything else. And so forth and so on. And then you read a story like he killed all these innocent kids. And it's like they, he had to kill those kids. You know? No, he didn't. Come on now. He had to kill these kids? <laughs> Come on. For real? Are that, is that what you believe? He, he had to do it? Times were different back then. No. Time doesn't exist for God because God is all-knowing, all-powerful. The beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. So don't give me the time thing. Don't try to don't try to consolidate it into your human mind, to your human IQ. Don't do that. Let me give you the real IQ. Let me give you the big picture. The God that you're worshiping is supposed to be the creator of an entire universe, maybe even a multiverse with multiple dimensions. We know now in quantum physics. You're talking about a universe that we, at the speed of light, we can never get to the edge because the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. We'll never see the edge of the universe. That's how incredible it is. And you're telling me that a God with that much power that can be everywhere at once and that can see everything at the same time and hear everything at the same time, that's omnipresent, doesn't have the capability or the power to teach people and get them to do what he wants to do, wants them to do the right way without killing their babies. His solution is killing the babies. That'll teach them. That'll get them going. Let's bring the plagues. Let's torture more innocent women and children. That's what you're telling me? the creator of planets and moons and star systems and nebula and atoms and particles like 
electrons and protons and muons and quarks on the subatomic level has to actually slaughter innocent babies to get a point across. I guarantee you, I can go descend in on a town right now and I can meet the people, greet the people, shake their hands, talk to them, and teach. They do it all the time. It's called missionary work. <laughs> and you can get people to see things in a totally different way. I do it all the time. I'm on YouTube doing it right now. And I didn't have to kill your babies to do this. I didn't in any, there's no in way, shape, or form that I had to get a contract out to kill all your babies for me to come on this YouTube and talk to you. It didn't cost you, didn't cost you your firstborn son for me to do this. This is free for you. Free knowledge. Think about that for a minute. Think how sadistic that is. And to celebrate that. Good Friday. They slaughtered those babies. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's wild. That's really crazy. I make it clear, like I talked about the, the last time I talked about a holiday. I don't want to take anything away from that. I talked about St. Patrick's Day. If, if, if you want to go out and have a good time on St. Patrick's Day, go do it. I was just giving you the knowledge as to the underlying theme and meaning of what it really is all about and how it became uh, a popularized. Uh, canonized day. And so in this particular situation, I'm doing the same exact thing. Okay. If I wasn't traveling right now, I would definitely be with my family. I would definitely have a great dinner and have a relaxing day and spend some super quality time. I probably wouldn't do any work whatsoever. Okay. And so what I'm telling you is understanding the fundamentals and the root of a holiday doesn't mean you have to uh, stop yourself from having any enjoyment, any fun with any family members. Because I see this happening a lot. People get tend to get so fanatical about what they learned in a particular topic or a ritual or a holiday, and then they become aggressive. I don't want you to become aggressive. I don't want you to be like, don't be telling me about no damn Easter. <laughs> I don't want you guys to do that. OK, I don't want you guys to do that. I want you guys to be able to say, let me take in this knowledge and understand. Also, let me have an opportunity to teach in a very nice way. I can come now with knowledge and facts and receipts. But I also at the end of the day, you still some of you guys, hey, go get that food. Go go love on your people. OK, go love on your people. Go spend time with your family, because a lot of the times. These are the only days we get, the days that have made national holidays where a lot of places are closed and families have a, t have, have a chance to spend time with each other. That's important. OK. 